you're probably aware that um, for some time now I've been raving on about the Sonic Gravity HT rod. Now I know that um, Tony, Gerald and a number of other people use this rod to good effect and I've watched them casting it and I've been really impressed with it and I've been desperate to have a go with one. So on Sunday I actually got the opportunity to have a go with a Sonic HT and yes, it lived up to my expectations. So I'm just been gas bagging with with uh, Gary here, and I mentioned the Sonic the, the the Sonic HT, and he said I've got two in the bag there. So we're gonna have a look at this rod because I, I do really rate this rod, and I want to have a go with one. Let's have a feel of it. Oh. Beautiful action, isn't it? Isn't it? And it's so light. Yeah. Beauty, beauty. Choose your fittings. This is the, the Sonic Gravity X5 HT. Lovely. I'll put the reel on the other oh, yeah. reel on it if you want to try it. Yeah, 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 please. Right, so we're going to put a reel on it and I'm going to get my dream. I've been, been saying this for quite a while. I want to have a chuck of one of these rods and there haven't been any in the country so um not really had a chance to do a proper rod review on them but uh, let's have a little chuck of this and see how it feels I'll demonstrate my crap casting That's one we've got, at least. and he's putting a 600 pound weight on this oh dear my christmas wish list Going out well, isn't it? Going out right. Oh, mate. I'm not, I'm not really loading it, to be honest. No, you're not. You have to watch that. Yeah. One last look around. And I will give it your back. <laughs> So there you go, so the Sonic HT, Gravity X5, better give it back now. <laughs> Gary, thanks very much for having a go at that, mate. Right, no yeah? You don't think you don't cry? No, 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 definitely beautiful. I, I, the, the trouble is, that's a lot of money on a wish list. Yeah, well, you don't have to do the real, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pop in and talk to Tony about the rod and what he thinks about it. So we're going to pop in the Tony's and do that now. Right, so Tony, as you know, I've been watching you with that Sonic HT and, and Gerald as well, and I've been desperate to have a go with one. And, and I managed to have a go with one on Sunday. Yeah. So Gary let me have a go, Gary Bramble let, let me have a go with his. Yeah, I'll see it on the videos. Yeah, what a lovely rod. So um, I'm going to do a review of the, that rod. All right. Now, well, tell us about it. What, tell me about the rod. Well, I think uh, basically originated. Um, I was doing a bit of, bit of work for Neil McCormack from Sonic, and uh, they had a rod called a, a Gravity HT, a red one. Yes, I go. Gary's it's a lovely got, rod. Gary's got one, isn't he? Very nice rod. The old type. Yeah. And uh, beautifully finished. Come out of the top factory in China. And uh, I look, kept looking at it and looking at it and 
It's got this really fine quiver tip on it, which a lot of rods have. And I thought, well, that's a lovely rod, Ian. I phoned Ian. I said, it's a lovely rod, but you need something with a bit stiffer tip. So I sort of designed quickly a stiffer tip for him, and then he brought out a blue HT, which I've got at home, which is an absolute revelation. Top quality rod, beautiful, right? Even come in a lovely, I haven't got one here, but a case similar to this, but a long one, mm -hmm. which you've probably seen in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came with cases, they were rod bags, beautifully finished. Anyway, I don't know what happened, but basically, as time went on, I don't know if Ian finished with a factory or, or whatever. So I think what they done, I'm not going to tell you they copied it because I'm not sure, but they thought, right, this is a lovely rod. We're going to get something very similar. So they probably shipped it out to another place in China who made them, and they're called Next 5 now, HT. Um, changed all the um, livery. Mm. And uh, I didn't go near it. I kept my blue one. I didn't go near this new one for at least a year. I was just waiting to see what happened, whether there was problems or whether it snapped or anything like that. And then after about a year, I thought, I'll have a go with one of these. So I rung Ian up and said, look, they seem to be good. Can I have a go with one? So he'd done me a real good deal and I bought one. And uh, believe it or not, although this was like my right arm, the blue HT, I took to this new one. Mm. And I believe it's slightly stiffer, just a little bit. It's the way it's come out. And that was the and, HT that I, yeah, that I was playing and, with on Sunday. So the yeah. new HT is yeah. slightly stiffer. Yeah. Suits me, suits Gerald, suits yeah. most of us. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Sold loads. All of a sudden now, I think they made a mistake and they didn't put the order in early enough. So they're not available now. Nobody's got them in the country, as far as I know. I've had two or three people want one and they've got, I'll get one online and there's none. Mm -hmm. And they're coming in in um, May and they cut, see what happened is you can fly rods in. Mm. But that's gone by the wayside now because it costs so much money to mm. fly them in. You've got to cut, bring them in by by um, ship now. So they'll get here about May and uh, basically they're good price, around about £300, £340. And I would have said if you really fancy one, get your order in now, even if you put a small deposit on, because I know when they get them, they're going to go fast, you know. Mm. Well, I, def I, don't, I definitely wouldn't want time. So the only, I'll, the I'll only disappointment will be yeah. for you is that at one point when there was a lot around, you could buy them really cheap. Yeah. But I think you'll find that yeah, he'll, he'll just ease them out this time. He won't yeah. just flood the market. And I think you'll be looking at around the 320 mark, you know, because they're 369. And they might have even gone up. Yeah. But at least you'll get you'll get a fair deal, yeah. but perhaps not quite so acute as before, you know mm. what I mean? Uh, but they're a lovely rod. Yeah. Ever, ever so good. And they've stood the test of time. Yeah. We all use them in the matches. As Every time you go past someone, he's got a, yeah. a, an X5, hasn't he? HT. Yeah. So. Uh, fantastic. So I've, I've, I've watched them and I've watched. The effortless way that they cast. Yeah. You know, you watch you cast and it's effortless. You just see the leg carry on and keep going and going and going. You think, how's that happening? Yeah, there's not yeah. many like it. I've, no. I've tried quite a lot of them yeah. and uh, there's not many. You know, it's, yeah. it's, what you normally do is switch to another rod and it's normally yeah. virtually the same at the same yeah. factory and you yeah. go, bang, I'll sell that one now. Yeah. But yeah. some kind of, I'm kind of a little bit lost because mm. I'm thinking, well, what, what can I sell now? Mm. You know, so basically we're going to have to wait, I'm yeah. afraid. Right. <laughs> All good things come to people who wait, mm. <laughs> so they say. As Tony said, if you want one of these rods, and I trust me, I think you will want one of these rods, because I want one, um, you're going to need to get in touch with them and put a deposit on one, I think. So, I'll catch you later. All right, so, so while, while I'm in the shop, um, Tony just brought to my attention that he's got some new braided lining. So, so let's have a quick little chat with Tony about that. We'll, we'll add this to the end of the video. Well, this is, this is your natural... Your normal fire line, which we sell loads of. Yeah, fire line. Yeah, uh, this yeah. has gone up to a stupid price of about forty-four pound now. Oh, wow! And we sell it for about thirty-one ninety-five, I believe. And then you've got your X Five, which is very similar, the Barclay. Yeah. Um, this is about three, four pounds cheaper. Right. And that's quite good. How and many? How many strand of braid is they, that? They, they've all got um, eight strands. Five strand. Five strand. Um, I believe I'm not quite sure on the. On that one, I think it's eight. Yeah, I think it is eight. I'm sure, yeah. it's eight. Um, this one here, this is why I wanted to show you it. This is a bit of a breakthrough. Right. Um, all of a sudden, we've got this one. It's a new one. 
It's around about sixteen pounds, sixteen wow, ninety nine, I believe. Pounds. Yeah, and it's a good braid if you didn't want to spend quite as much money. And it's a Barclay, it's still Barclay. It's still Barclay, but you know, unfortunately, like everything, Chris, you get what you pay for. Mm. But I would have thought if someone was just you know coming in and they wasn't perhaps first time using braid or whatever, mm. and it don't seem too bad. I've had a little play with it; it's quite supple, you know. Mm. But uh, this is really the number one. Um, I like this one as well. Mm -hmm. And I like the bright colours, to be honest mm. with you. Got that, that's the colour of that one. All right, nice I believe together. at night you can see, it's good because you can see where it is at night yeah. if you're near the groin. Whereas sometimes with these bland colours, yeah. you can't really, it blends in and you know where your line is sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, quite. And unfortunately, this comes in just one colour, I think. Yeah. But it's just, it's all made by Barclay. It's just a bit of a breakthrough on the price, that's mm. all. And a lot of people don't realise. So right. instead of paying £30 for braid, you can get it for about 16 16 So yeah. you've seen that here first. Get your line at Tony's.